today's recipe that I'm going to try is brown sugar bourbon pork chops. Um, and I'm also going to be making some um, Brussels sprouts. I'm cleaning them right there. This is actually going to be my very first time uh, making the brown sugar bourbon pork chops. Um, it's a McCormick's Grill Mates brown sugar bourbon seasoning that I'm going to encrust my pork chops in. Okay, so anyway, and this is me right here. I am cleaning the Brussels sprouts, um, getting them, just cutting them in half. Um, removing the yucky parts and part of the stem and cutting them in half and that's always fun. You know, surprisingly, my favorite part of cooking is the prepping the vegetables. I like to do it. I don't know why. We're also going to be using a couple of green onions in our recipe. I'll show you that. All right, let's get these Brussels sprouts into a pan. First, we got to um, put some oil into the bottom of the baking dish. Oh yeah, by the way, we got to preheat our oven to 425 degrees. Up until this point I haven't had an oven so I'm just using a air fryer oven thingy. So here we go. Let's go get them into the brand new oven. Still has a sticker on the front. Four twenty-five. All right, let's uh let's thinly slice these green onions. We are going to separate the lower part of the green onion from the upper part of the green onion. The The tighter the onion is, we're going to put that in one dish and then the looser the onion is, the darker the green, we're going to put that in a different dish. All right, next part is we are going to clean up this apple and then we are going to dice it up. I'm going to be making um, an apple pan sauce that is going to go across the top of the pork chop. And you know, it wasn't until afterwards that I realized I didn't save any of these apple pieces for my dog. And my dog loves apples. Like, we will sit down and I will share an apple with him. You know, bite-sized pieces or whatever. Cut some up for me and cut some up for him too. He likes them more than I do, so I always give him a little bit more. You know, because he's spoiled. All right, all done. Chopping up the apple. Let's get rid of our garbage. And move on to the pork chops. Here we go. We're going to put some oil in a pan and let the pan heat up. Drop in our um, pork chops that already have the McCormick's brown sugar bourbon seasoning on it. I put about a half a tablespoon of seasoning on each side. And there's the Brussels sprouts. I pulled them out. I thought they were done, so I pulled them out. Putting in some biscuits in the oven now. I was hoping to get the sizzle on camera, but the other camera that I had set up, I had my phone set up to record the audio of the sizzling part, and it the screen turned so it is not I didn't like the way that was turning out so I just kind of removed that section and 
and kept kept that part for the short and here I am after I flipped my pork chops I needed to add a little bit more oil to it just letting them cook oh and that I'm putting uh, the green parts of the green onions into some instant mashed potatoes that I made over there on the other side um, and I put a little bit of sour cream in my mashed potatoes and there I'm putting in a little bit of milk into my instant mashed potatoes. I would have done regular potatoes into mashed potatoes, but man, that just takes too long. The instant ones are delicious. And here we go where we are trying to uh, sear the edges of these pork chops. <clears throat> they are looking like they're almost done. Let's put these on a plate and set them aside. Because we have a sauce to make inside that pan. Look at all the yummy goodness. Okay, so we put the white part of the onion in there. And our pieces of um, apple. We are putting a little bit of salt and pepper on there. And we are also going to add some chicken bouillon. Because chicken bouillon and, and pork products just taste awesome. I don't know why. Add some water in there. And then hit it with a half a teaspoon of sugar. All right, and we're going to stir this up a little bit, scraping the bottom of the pan as we go, because we want to get all the beautiful um, taste uh, from the fried pork chops that were in the pan mixed into this sauce that we were making. Look at how bubbly that is. Doesn't that look great? All right. That was kind of a weird cut, but we are ready to get everything out onto plates putting this um, apple pan sauce onto the pork chop. Let's try it out, see how well I did. Putting a couple of pieces of apple with that piece of pork chop. Yeah, that tasted good. Let's put a couple of pieces of apple with this uh, Brussels sprout. Yeah, that tastes pretty good too. The only thing is, is those Brussels sprouts didn't cook all the way. I should have cooked them a little bit longer. And what is the verdict, guys? What do you think? Absolutely. It's a winner. Winner, winner, pork chop dinner.